Today, for the first time ever, I get to examine a smart battery for the e-bike called Smart from the manufacturers of the Smart electric car. The Smart for 2, Smart for 4. They had a small electric foldable bike that cost like 3,500 euros. Uh, way back, I don't think many people bought it in Sweden, but anyway, I got, got a customer from Gothenburg with this battery, and as you can see, it's made by the idiots at Bionex. Bionex. But, but this has lasted for five years. I'm not saying they make bad batteries, I'm just saying they're fucking stupid. <laughs> Making everything. Oh, let's have a line that goes here, and this one, let, let's have an edge over here. Uh, and on this round circle, let, let's make this, these edges a little flat. And it looks, they over design every fucking thing, and that turns into huge problems when it comes to repair and when it comes to spare parts. Like every fucking thing is over engineered. Spend like one million hours just finding the right screws, and they end up with this Torx anyway. That's one million hours wasted. Idiots. But that's not the, that's not the problem. There are so many problems with Bionex because they built in the charger into the fucking battery case. And a charger, what does it do? It gets fucking hot. And then where does the heat go? It goes to the rest of the battery. Just so they can use the same fucking adapter for every single one of their e-bike system. They were too lazy to update their system. They really like this little plug that they have designed and they couldn't use different voltages. So they made this a switching adapter with a current output of 26 volt 3.45 amps. Every one of their fucking, like, like they have 26, 27, 32, 36, 49, 41, and all of these are using the same switching adapter. So they built in the actual charger, actual DC DC converter in the battery pack. That one gets way warm. Does anyone else do that? No, only by your necks. And they are no more. Yes, I am extremely mad because I know what kind of fucked up mess I'm gonna see inside here. I, I know there's gonna be like a million wires. Two million wires. Do you think this would be a piece of cake opening? No, there would be, be like a million other things holding it together, I'm guessing. And the warranty label is just, eh, there is nothing printed on it anymore. Hopefully they didn't fuck this up with a lot of glue. No, I think we can actually open this one up without blood, sweat and tears. No? Maybe a little bit on that one. I should be excited when opening a new battery pack, and I would be if I haven't seen this stupid fucking Bionex logo. Maybe this one will be easy to repair, uh, said no one ever. It's like, oh, I can already smell, smell the failure. Oh, what is this, what is this? They have transparent heat shrink tubing that is broken off in the middle on both sides. So, good quality heat shrink tubing over there. And I recall seeing something similar in one of their batteries when they have like, whoop, for a screw hole, because that's how you build it. And they have their typical BM, BMS, and they have the typical wires, yes, a typical, 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 typical. And this one is used, most likely using a BMS, uh, because there are so many extra wires. And the other ones, they just have a temp sensor too. Because what could go wrong? What could go wrong in a lithium ion battery with only one temp sensor? So they added two temp sensors. They were smart. They were geniuses. But they are dead. Bionex is dead. What kind of voltage do we have? I actually remember seeing quite something quite similar. Could it have been that I've seen a smart battery before? And maybe, maybe not. Probably 48 volts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, it's a 13S 4P lithium ion battery with Sony cells. Most likely using a BMS. Can't see any wires, but I can see pins over here and pins over here. So uh, let's give it a little measure. And also, gonna try charging it up. 
because it, it could actually be the charger. <sighs> oh, 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 and where here is most likely the positive, and I can just do something random. It's 2.2 volts, so this is just 2.7, 3.1, 3.5. And I'm guessing it goes around like this. You won't see what I'm measuring, but the cells are just goners. 1.8. They are like 0 0.4 volts per block. Add the charger and see what it says. It's not a charger, it's an adapter, but I call it a charger. It doesn't even have an indicator. It relies on motherfucking sounds. Yeah, it flashed orange over there. And here it just goes crazy. Flashing red. Um, flashing red is, however, never a good sign. But is it charging? No, I don't think we're getting that. <laughs> Fucking asshole! How are you even getting current to make that stupid noise? Fucking hate Bionics.